Welcome back to the Halftime Show on the PAC Sports Network. And it's our pleasure to be joined now by Tim Loomis, head coach of the Teal Tomcats. Coach, thanks for being with us today. Well, thanks for having me. It's it's always a pleasure, Randy. Thanks. Likewise. And, uh, you know, we're early in the season at this point. The Tomcats have a few PAC games under their belts and uh, have played a tough non-conference schedule, as is typical for your team. You know, give us your impressions of the team in the early going. Kind of what we thought, although I thought we'd shoot the ball up there, Randy. I mean, if we w- would have been shooting the ball up to a par, what we think we could after so much work on it, I think we'd have much better record. But as you said, to me, records don't mean a dang thing because simply you don't win the league, you don't go anywhere. So our record could be a little better, but uh, realistically, it's almost where I thought it'd be maybe one more win or two. Uh, and, but we played probably the best preseason schedule we ever played because I thought we have veterans coming back which we do, and uh, we need a tougher preseason schedule to get them ready. And last season, Teal made a run to the PAC semifinals for the second time in the last three seasons with a large crop of returnees from last year's playoff group. Do you hope that last year's tournament experience will benefit the Tomcats this season? Well, it already has because uh, they realize when they play poorly and when when they start to play well. (laughs) That's evident. Say at Geneva, who I think has a great team, and so does St. Vincent. You know, we played poorly, but they bounced back, and uh, they understand why they're losing at times this year, playing poorly. Whereas in the past, young teams don't understand that. They, they're still finding their way. We kind of know where we have to go. And uh, I said, I thought we played great on Sunday against a really good Division Two team. Elijah Harden, who had a 26-point night in the PAC quarterfinal win at Geneva last year that we covered here on the network, yeah. uh, he's coming off a strong freshman campaign, uh, led Teal in three-point shooting with 46 three-pointers. Uh, product from Kennedy Catholic has taken his game to even new heights this season. Why has Harden had such a great start to the year? Well, I think it's credit to the weight room <laughs> and experience. We we do lift a lot of weights, and those kids last year were mainly freshmen, sophomores, and even the upperclassmen, we really concentrate on physical ability, how strong you are, because uh, that's kind of we have to play defensively and rebounding as we always have, Randy. So uh, that's one big thing for Harden. He's bigger, stronger. He grew a little bit. Uh, if he were shooting the ball the way he's capable of shooting, uh, and the other two guards, we'd be a lot better right now. But he's he's playing much more under control, and uh, I think he understands a little more how to play this year rather than as a, as a high school freshman. So that's a big difference when they go from a freshman to sophomore when they have played quite a bit. So uh, he's at the junior level, I think, physically and, and mentally now. So it helps a lot. And junior Ethan Barnes, he was banged up quite a bit last yeah. season, healthy this year, averaging 13 points per game. Yeah, How much yeah. of an impact does Barnes make to the team when he's out there? Well, a great impact defensively. He was our best defender last year. And he tore his knee out, I think, uh, in the ninth game last year. When, so, so, same game as Ahmad Tejamula broke his foot. So that was a bad game last year. We lost them both for the year, which was a huge difference for us. But on the other hand, those freshmen had to play, and they really improved. Uh, but Barnes gives us great uh, defensive pressure. And uh, he settled down, learned how to play better. And uh, the last couple games, uh, I think he started. Uh, he, he's playing a lot better, but we really rely on him defensively to shut people down. Rayshot Hooper, senior forward out of St. Francis Academy in Baltimore, which is known for producing college basketball players, including women's basketball star Angel Reese of LSU. Right. Um, right. Now he's Teal's leading rebounder, a returning starter. You know, what kind of leader is Hooper on and off the court? Well, he's a great kid. He's, he's an intelligent young man, uh, very high academics, uh, a real team guy. Uh, all of now and then he thinks he knows it all. You know, one of those guys that he's so smart uh, academically. Uh, he thinks he knows everything about everything. We call him Mr. Know-it-all. Uh, but he's a great kid because he's all, even when he's not in the game, he's on the bench cheering and uh, he's a very good teammate. But he gives us physicality. I mean, he again, he's gained probably 10 pounds of muscle. And, uh, you know, he's 22 years old, and uh, we need him to rebound the ball and score inside. And he's been doing that. So uh, he kind of missed the game, most of the game on Sunday. Uh, he came back a day late from Thanksgiving. Uh, so, But he'll be ready to go 
Mm -hmm. And senior guard Marlon Ellerby, uh, PAC honorable mention pick last year, uh, led the team in scoring a season ago as well. You know, along with Hooper, how has Ellerby served as one of the leaders for this year's team? Well, he, he's a great leader. He and, he and Kai Axum, they're really good leaders, both seniors, and who will probably come back next year as graduate students and you know, get their MBA in one year, as we've had like four now do that with the COVID years. Uh, but Marlon's been hurt this year. He's got a knee problem. He's about 70 percent and uh he's not playing that well off and on he has been i think if he plays well then we can contend with people uh if he's not going to be able to play well it's going to be much more difficult because we don't have a freshman guard really that can step in and play we do have two really good freshman forwards who started the last game uh that uh they're they're, they're good enough and old enough to help us win in this league and so far, and you mentioned a couple of freshmen in the starting lineup on Sunday, 11 yeah. different players have seen time in the starting lineup in the first nine games. Yeah. From your perspective, you know, are, are you still looking for the right chemistry out of that, out of the group thus far? Uh, not really. I don't like to keep – everybody, most coaches want the same starting five all the time. we got 12 guys can play. So I, I do as I've always done when I've had teams that were deep. I think we're very deep. Uh, I change uh, from practice to practice. I change the lineup. I don't care. Uh, they better fit in and mix well, or they don't play. It's real simple with us. <laughs> yeah, it's very simple philosophy from that standpoint. Me, it is. Yeah, <laughs> simple minds for simple people. You know how it is, Randy. Now this season, only the top six teams in the standings will qualify for the PAC tournament. Yeah. So it's obviously going to be a tough run to even just make the tournament. Uh, with a deep run in the tournament last season, what does Teal need to do to get back? To the PAC tournament and make a run for a title? Just two things. We got to play better defensive, as we always in the past have been really good defensively. I think Gersi and us are always really good defensively and rebound the ball. But this year for us, if we shoot the ball, you know, if our, our uh, two point shooting percentage is about 46% and our three point can get up to 36%, we'll contend with, with everybody in the league. But biggest thing probably now is our shooting percentage, and uh, it has to improve. And, of course, that is, you know, take, moving the ball better, as Geneva does, uh, and, and good teams in the league. Their shooting percentage is higher because they move the ball well. Uh, everybody shares the ball. And I think that uh, once we get our shooting percentage up, not that we have better shots, we got to make open shots. And I think that will be the biggest thing. It's Teal head coach Tim Loomis. Coach, as always, thanks for your time, and good luck to you and the team. Thanks, business. Randy. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll have the second half of today's game when we come back in just a moment.